The Glove and Boots blog is an idea that we came up with, um, I guess, over a year ago. Right? It's, it's close to that. Yeah, I think date-wise, the, the first one we cranked out was 10 months ago. Um, we had done some other puppet projects and wanted to do something simple, just a video blog where you talk to the camera and have fun with it. We realized video blogging is pretty big, so why not kind of spoof that and do it with puppets? Yeah, the simplified version of what the blog is, it's two main puppets, yeah. uh, Mario and Fafa. They talk to the camera about whatever we want to talk about, just like a video blog, and other puppets come in whenever needed. These are the main two characters. It's Fafa, the groundhog. Uh -huh. They form like an odd couple. Uh, Mario tends to lose control a lot of the time. Uh, Fafa's almost a straight band, but not really. They work well together to move a premise on. Uh, if either one of them falls apart, the other one steps up and can get a story from point A to B. Mario's definitely more of a powder keg. Um, occasionally, and what is that? Fafa kind of keeps, yeah. He's basically, if uh, you know, if there's a button, he's gonna push it. Um, Fafa is a little bit more restrained and kind of calms him down, but occasionally he'll kind of lose his marbles. And usually, whenever one of them kind of loses it or is anxiety driven, the other one kind of comes. I don't mind. like it when you talk and you're silent. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, and then, Beauty of Puppets is anytime we need another character or want to do anything, they can be built and dumped into the, uh, into the mix. Uh, we want to do a Christmas special, so we built Santa Claus and Commando Elves. Uh, did a bit on Thor, built Thor, Thor showed up. <laughs> Nay, Jable, methinks there shall be no slaying of trolls today. I think he was made from scrap initially, something that I had. Um, then he was rebuilt. So it looks a little more solid. Um, we wanted a counterpart and went for a more realistic, like a groundhoggy rodent thing, which, and I say thing in the most, in the fondest way. It's okay. Uh, we initially took them when we were both unemployed, so we each had a puppet and performed, you know, for Just change. Street performing. In, yeah, street performing. And it was a nightmare. Yes, it was god awful. Yeah. When we were doing blog content, uh, Vinny let me know that we had both, both characters, uh, Mario and Fafa the Groundhog, had been nominated to win a Shorty Award. So we decided this week, let's steer away from our normal commentary blog and just announce that we had won or been nominated for an award and uh, do a little campaigning. I think yeah. the first one was Patton. We got a little political and up in arms and just thought it would be fun to mix things up and change it that way. Log on to your Twitter account, Citizens of Earth, and cast your nomination for me or for Fafa into the hat of righteousness. I think it's also worth saying that, you know, when we were nominated, we looked at the nominations and we realized that there weren't, I think, you know, the, the top uh, person who was Justin Bieber's DJ at DJ Tay James, he was number one and he had like 300 votes, I think. Mm -hmm. So it was an obtainable goal for us. And he was, and it was the perfect villain too. Like his, if you want to- In a go, nice way, yeah, a villain. No, it was, it In was, a very was, nice way. His pose and his Twitter thing. Yeah, he was, was doing was, like was doing one of these and looking and, like a tough guy. Yeah, and we were two puppets, so we just thought it would be, it was like an innocent, uh, you know. Fighting villain. Yeah. Fighting, yeah, the DJ of Bieber yeah. with a groundhog puppet. You vote for the Shorty Award through Twitter. So. Uh, we have, we have a, a, a small audience on YouTube, about 20,000. Uh, YouTube subscribers and we had never really promoted the fact that we had Twitter feeds and we never really made use of our Twitter feeds um, until I mean you know on occasion we would just to kind of post our links and stuff like that and we had a couple hundred followers when we actually started doing this our numbers jumped significantly we went from about 200 followers to now I think uh, we're at about 1,700 plus. One of the things we like to do with these characters is interactive social media. Like it's really cool to be able to tweet to people, answer people's tweets, talk to people as much as possible on Facebook. Because they're visceral puppets instead of, you know, animation. It's yeah. like they're real guys. It's, they it's are fun. real guys. Yeah, they are. It's Kinda. fun to create the illusion that they're like actual beings on the internet. And people seem to interact with them that way. Like one time we posted, uh, I guess it was an article or something about us. We were going to be showing one of our videos in a puppet festival. And people didn't like people it. People were like, what do you mean puppet? What? Fafa is a real groundhog and Mario's <laughs> a real whatever he is. <laughs> we're working with Bento Box Entertainment right now, who um, we're slowly working with them in the hopes of making some sort of larger show. In the meantime, you know, they're helping us out with promoting the blog, moving the blog forward. Um, we'll go back. We'll. Eventually more characters will be added. The goal is to build an ensemble cast that can exist either digitally, you know, online or, you know, on television if, if that works out. That's what Bento Box is helping us with. 
Um, you know, for, in the meantime, we're just looking to put out as much content as possible in the near future to you know try and build our our presence online. Yeah, saying like a show as an end game is one thing, but we're we're excited with the characters we've got and want to keep building that world. Um, like you said, keep cranking out content, get other characters in there, change the sets up every once in a while, yeah. but not lose track of Mario and Fafa because yeah. they are the best. They're the leaders. Yes. Oh God, they are the leaders. <laughs> they are the leaders. That is terrifying.